In just the last hour, the world's top golfer walked off the golf course for day two of the PGA Championship and talked about his arrest this morning. Scotty Scheffler charged now with felony assault of a police officer, among other charges. Let's get back to our sports team. WDRB's Tom Lane and Eric Crawford live at Valhalla. Guys? Hey, guys. Yeah, Scotty Scheffler got here late after that arrest a little miscommunication of sorts it seems with an officer getting into uh, the hollow this morning uh, but he handled things about as well as you can expect eric he, he went out with very little preparation time he, he shoots a six under uh six or five under sixty six sorry uh and he is very much in the mix in this tournament at nine under yeah i mean these guys that, that's kind of what they do is put things aside and go out and, and execute. Lock, lock and it in. It, yeah. It's a lot more difficult to do that, though, in a press conference and say the right things and not, more importantly, not say the wrong things. And there were certain things he couldn't talk about, about how things went down. He's charged with a Class C felony assaulting mm. a police officer. These are serious things he's facing. He described as best he could what he experienced, what he experienced in the back of the police car, what he experienced in the cell. Most guys don't go into that kind of detail, so I do give him some credit for just taking some time and walking people through that. It was a, kind of an extraordinary uh, uh, few minutes there. Yeah, I kind of thought it would be, well, you know, this is, yeah. uh, you got to talk to my lawyers about this, or I can't really say anything. But, yeah, he, he did talk about it a bit, didn't he? Yes, he was very forthright. He talked about his emotions. He talked about what was going through his mind. He talked about stretching the jail cell. Very <laughs> complimentary to the police officers that he encountered along the way. Made sure to go out of his way to say that he appreciated the job they do. Expressed sympathy for the family of the security worker who was killed this morning, which players all day have been very careful and very sure to do and give their thoughts to that family, which has been a theme all day here. Yeah, no doubt about it. Here are uh, some of Scheffler's thoughts after his round. I did spend some time stretching in a jail cell. That was a first for me. I was never, you know, angry. I was just in shock, and I think my body was just, I was shaking the whole time. I was shaking for like an hour. It was, it was definitely a, a new feeling for me, and he came out, and we had a nice chat, and then the the officers inside the jail were tremendous. Uh, a couple of them made some jokes. I think when they f figured out, you know, who I was and what happened, and you know how I ended up there, you know, they uh, <laughs> this one this one older officer looked at me as I was doing like my fingerprints or whatever, and he he looks at me. He goes, "So, do you want the full experience today?" And I kind of looked at him. And I was like. Uh, I don't know how to answer that. And he's like, "Come on, man, you want a sandwich?" And I was like, "Sure, I'll, it's like, I'll take a sandwich." <laughs> yeah, yeah. He wasn't sure what the full experience meant, but the yeah. full experience included a sandwich, so he he, he took advantage of that. Um, how do you think this plays out over over the next couple of days, Eric? Is this something where uh, his case could be could be looming for days or weeks? Well, he's he's got an arraignment on Tuesday, which is pretty standard. After this happens, uh, you know, who knows how long that will go? There, there are just just uh, various degrees of, of, of ramifications for yeah. this, what it means for the tournament, what it means for him moving forward in the tournament, uh, a lot of different things and things more important than that. We have family that's hurting. We have a lot of workers out here that are hurting. My, my mother used to work for this company that, that was kind of a mm. vendor company and worked security at these things. A lot of community people involved in this really, really hate hearing this news about that. Yeah, uh, definitely a, a shame on on a week when Louisville is hoping to shine, and there was you know talk of would they bring another tournament back yeah. here. Uh, certainly uh, putting a cloud over things on a cloudy, rainy day out here at Valhalla. We'll have more coming up for Eric Crawford. I'm Tom Lane. We are live at Valhalla Golf Club for WDRB Sports.